Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, F1 2020 was such a good year, I'm still getting a kick from having all those new and different races that we had at these different tracks that we haven't raced at for a long time, or never raced at before. So, this series I am calling the Alternative F1 Races. Basically, of every race weekend, I'll be jumping in to a set of course in VR and taking part in a Grand Prix weekend, but the tracks that I'll be using, none of them be on the current F1 calendar. So there'll be tracks that are either in the same country or close enough to where the original race was, just to change it up and let's see what F1 would be like in completely different places, some places you wouldn't even think of. With that said, let's get into the race. Hi everyone and welcome back, just to squeeze out the pit lane. Welcome back to the channel and to the alternative F1 season. And we got the alternative British Grand Prix. Now thank you so much for everyone who voted on my Instagram and my Twitter for what track to have. I couldn't decide between Alton Park and Donington. Uh, if you know your British tracks, you'll see that I've taken a very tight right hand to start with. So you know that we're back where they had the 1993 European Grand Prix. Donington! So let's throw it straight in. I know Donington fairly well. So I'm also going to stick with what I did last time for the Czech Grand Prix. Uh, which was... It wouldn't, that wouldn't allow me to do a full weekend. So I did the sprint qualifying. I'm going to let the Red Bull through. Um, yeah, it didn't allow me to do the sprint qualifying last time. Sorry, I had to do the sprint qualifying last time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the sprint qualifying because we had that IRL. So what I've done is I've sent it to the normal weekend session, but I got rid of practice. So this is practice slash quali. So we're going to do this. It's going to take us into a five lap race. That will then determine the grid for the 19 lap race. So let's get the grips with where Donington goes. Let me show you around. Get the ERS all set up well. Let me show you around Donington. So pit lane exit is there. You've got quite a tight, very tight right-hander for the first corner. And then very nice sort of reminiscent of Magnus and Beckett's a little bit. Downhill, a right, then a left. And then we come up to Old Hairpin. Nice and fast through there, past the bridge. As we turn this corner, we've got brake somewhat hard for a 90 degree, or quite a wide open 90 degree left right hander, even. When it comes to the top of the hill, braking, we've got another couple of tight, tight ish, tight for this track anyway. Um, right handers, there's a lot of right handers on this track. We're doing the international circuit, so we go left and then right, and we do the loop. Just coming down here, got a hairpin down here, back up the way we came, you can't see it and it's off camber, there's a hairpin there as well, and that is a lap of Donington, so yeah, good track, good fun track, uh, been here a couple of times in real life, bye bye. Um, you can actually see that, I'll leave a link to it up there in the corner. I come and watch uh, my mate Jack Butel, who is now a touring car driver. I came and watch him do um, Formula 4 here in 2016, uh, along with his teammate Billy Munger, who a year later had his uh, horrible accident here. Now, a few of you as well are wondering why... I'm not using Brands Hatch, and why I said I couldn't use Brands Hatch as an alternative to Silverstone. While I do practice, let me show you why. Okay, so here's the problem that I have with Brands Hatch. Ready? Ideally, this is what you want to see, and this is what I would like to have done, is have an alternative Grand Prix at Brands Hatch. However, watch this. The AI go in 2x2 two two into turn 1. Oh, they made it this time. Normally they don't. Well, keep a keep a look. Again, it's very very sunny. 
here's part of the problem. That. The drivers will go in to the last corner and watch. They're going to do it here in the first corner. I've fallen a little bit back, but they're going to do it here. There you go. They will go into the first and last corner side by side and not know how to take it and just end up in the gravel. Therefore, eventually, every car will just... There's more of them in there now. I saw an Alpine in there. Just more and more of them will just end up in the gravel. And it's... It's not how you want to be uh, winning the race. Not like that. Here we go. So, gearing up for the final lap. I've sort of ruined the final corner. But thankfully, it's quite a short pit straight. It feels a much, much tighter first corner than you than you think. Much tighter, much longer than you always think it is. The fun run down the hill. Just a lift off and a couple of gear flicks down for old hairpin. Run back up the hill. Down a couple of corners like that, trying not to spin out with like the hustards. That you can't see because of the sun, but you I get quite heavily blinded by it. I'm already over a second down this lap. Because it's that inevitable thing of when you think about the lap, you end up making mistakes like that. Wait until you're going downhill. Break turn in. Accelerate up the hill. When you get to the crest of the hill, you break. Turn in, try and find the apex. And then across the line. I want you to start 12th. Okay, the uh, qualifying for that isn't so much important because this is qualifying. It's a five lap race for the sprint qualifying as we had. Um, IRL. However, oh, Lando Norris starting P1 uh, with Gasly second and Perez, Hamilton, Max, Bottas, Sainz, Sonoda, etc. Around us, we got Ocon behind, Alonso and Ricardo in front of us. Uh, George is directly behind us as well. So let's go. We're Charles Leclerc, obviously, uh, driver of the day. Oh, it's lights out and cars failed to start. There you go. Everyone should be all right now. It glitches sometimes, but I know how to determine if cars are going to fail or not. So, five lights. It's lights out and away we go for the Donington Park Grand Prix. I'm going to make a great jump on the McLaren. I'm going to scoot in front of him, try and scoot in between the Alpha Tower and the Aston Martin. But Yuki goes ahead and straight up kills me. Trying to find reverse Yuki. I mean, I was there, but he just gave me no space whatsoever. So Yuki straight away takes me out. Normally, I would look at restarting this race. However, because it is... Because this is only the sprint qualifying, I'm going to keep going. So, already been killed by Yuki Tsunoda. But we can... We can make up places, there we go, one of the Hasses um, forgot to turn right. Oh. <laughs> it's Mazepin, oh I'm too busy looking and laughing at Mazepin. Thankfully with the pack being quite close up I can catch up to them quite happily. Look, there's Mick, so I'm not, I'm not too far behind already. So we've got a bit of a scrap here between the two Alfa Romeos, the Williams and the Haas. Let's dive in behind Mick. Let's see if we can put the dive bomb into the chicane. Mick just holds on. We're driving from the young German. We're going to dive bomb him into the hairpin. We'll watch the two Alfa Romeos have a fight. We're happily behind ahead of ahead of Mick. We're going to dive bomb this Alfa Romeo into the other hairpin. 
That looks like to be fast slap, and that was Raikkonen that we passed. So, looking for a way past Giovinazzi and the two Williams. I am brave enough to open my DRS down here. Am I brave enough to do a dive bomb into old hairpin? Just, we do make contact, but we just get through. Oh, Williams breaking a lot earlier than I thought. Back off there. Right, now trying to get a good run. From here, I've got a much better run than George. I'm going to get past Nicholas as well. Force him wide. Oh. Ah, I locked up and forced him off completely. I mean, with George's little accident in the real Grand Prix, that gave him a free first penalty. I should be starting at the back for the sort of shit I'm doing. Anyway, two laps to go. Two laps to go, I'm setting fastest lap. I'm gonna go for it. Into the old hairpin again, it works. Feels like a corner you shouldn't be able to overtake her, but it is. On the final lap, I've got Ocon right in front of me and Vettel ahead as well. This is for... Oh, I shouldn't be overtaking there. Oh, bye bye, yes, man. That puts us P12, apparently, which is where we started. So, Yuki cost us a load of places at the beginning, but at least we're starting where we qualified. That is, unless I can catch Seb into the last corner. He's got a pink helmet, but it is Seb. Oh my god, can I stick it up the inside? Stick it up the inside, stick it up the inside! Drag race to the line! I think I was disqualified from that. Because it said give up the place. <laughs> it said give up the place as I took it. Although I don't know... That wasn't an illegal overtake. I'm going to take that and I'm going to finish P11. Okay, so the grid set by the quality race. Sergio Perez starts on pole position on the side back to Steppen. Uh, Lando Norris is ahead of former McLaren driver Carlos Sainz. Pierre Gasly dropped from 2nd to 5th during the race. Lewis Hamilton 6th. Stroll, Bottas, Ricardo Alonso. We got 11th in the end, one place above where we qualified. So Seb is behind us. Ocon, Latifi, Giovanni, Russell, Raikkonen, Schumacher. They were the last of the finishers. Uh, Tsunoda crashed on turn 1 and uh, Mazepin dropped out lap 2. So, yeah. It is now a 19 lap race around Donington Park, other side of the grid this time. Everyone pulls away. Get a great start. Great start, get a bit knocked about. That would look like one of the McLarens. Ah. Uh. Yes, again. Yes, again. We get knocked around on lap one. Great. Great, 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 great. Recovery drive. Just like the uh, sprint. Here we go. Coming up on the first Haas. We are 19 for red. George Russell is unfortunately out. Let's try and find a way past Schumacher. I'm going to dive down the inside. There isn't any room. Close the door. Try and find a much better slipstream than him. Ah, I'll break myself. He 
The game trying to penalise you because it can stay back at the corner, so it's like slow down 35 kilometres per hour. Right. Let's get Mick again. Ow, I gone wide because I was looking at trying to adjust the ERS. Thanks, Mick. I just blocked him. Come on, I need to get my head down now and I need to stop making mistakes and I need to catch up to the pack. Oh, I'm going to pass the Atari there finally after so many laps. It's lap 8 now. Finally passed someone. Catch someone up, we're slowly catching the pack. There's been an awful, awful race. We are now 17th, yeah. And have Mazepin ahead of us. He's going to be difficult to overtake. Making gains, here's our next attack. It's the Alfa Romeo. I'll get a much better run through old hairpin, there we go, once again, pass him nice and happily, break for the, for the right hander, I can try and follow Latifi, through here I run a little bit wide, that's compromised my exit quite a bit, throw open DRS, Follow it, follow the TV down through the loop. It's going nice and slow through the loop. Uh, to trigger happy on the throttle. No, I'm not going to try a dive bomb. I shall try the dive bomb. Here. A bit tighter and longer than you think. There you go done it and got it. There you go, trying to get past Vettel, let's take him the same place I've taken lots of other drivers. There we go, nice and easy past him. So we're coming on to the final lap now. We are 11th actually, we're very close to the points. Don't, unless someone crashes out, I don't think we're going to catch anybody. I can't, I can't even see anybody up ahead. Let's completely push. Oh, got that line a little bit wrong. Good, it didn't penalise me. I don't think we're going to get 10th. The place it will be. That was an alright recovery. Hey, we started 11th, so we gained one place in the sprint quali and then didn't gain anything in the uh, in the main race, despite having a couple of uh, being taken out on the first lap. There was the rest of the grid, so I would have started catching them. But, ah. Uh, that was alright though. That was a decent decent race. There, so Sergio Perez won the Grand Prix with Carlos Sainz second, Gasly third, Stroll Verstappen ahead of Hamilton, uh, Ricardo, Bottas, Alonso, Ocon. We started 11th, we finished 11th, so did Sebastian Vettel, uh, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Ragnan, Mazepin, Sonoda, Schumacher, Norris, Russell. Hello again. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of that? That was not one of the more exciting races. Um, it wasn't a particularly exciting race. Uh, a lot of it was sort of by myself. Um, but I enjoyed it. I always enjoy driving Donington. It's it's a very simple track, but also quite difficult. Um, particularly when things are gonna, the other drivers are gonna screw you over, or the, uh, it 
tells you just basically kind of just stop because you cut a corner slightly. Um, but otherwise, it's quite good. I quite enjoyed that. Uh, and you can see as well why I couldn't use Brown's Hatch. That would have been slightly more frustrating. Um, but still, I hope you I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe, maybe. Um, I'll be doing this for every race. Um, there'll be an end credit screen thingy with uh, the previous ones. I should turn this into a playlist, shouldn't I? I've uh, probably got enough races now to turn this into a playlist on the channel. Um, but yeah, go give them a watch. Uh, you can see the rest of the races. Uh, next week is Hungary uh, and the alternative Hungarian Grand Prix. And that is going to be on a track that has the lowest FIA grade on this alternative Canada. It's going to be a grade four track. All of them are like, this is grade three, I think. The next, next time out is going to be grade four. It's going to be interesting. See you next time.